Let me tell you a story about a young 24-year-old named Roy Bratton, who was a backseater. Uh, he uh, hung around with a couple of friends that my wife and I uh, befriended and uh, kind of accepted them as part of our family. Well, when we were getting ready literally the night to deploy to Vietnam, uh, we were out for dinner and Roy turned to my wife and I and said, I'm not coming back. He had a premonition that he was not returning from Vietnam. And of course, I immediately said, Roy, that's you just got the jitters. And he said, no, I, I'm serious, I'm not coming back. And um, I, uh, I just tried to pass it off as, as best I could. He wasn't asking for sympathy. He wasn't after attention. It was a sincere feeling that he just had a premonition he was not coming back. Well, a uh, little over three and a half months later, he was killed in the target area. And uh, well, years later, I, I uh, reflect back thinking about how brave he was. You know, we overuse the word hero. Uh, maybe that's over descriptive, but he was certainly brave because he could have grounded himself. He could have avoided going to Vietnam, but he, he went to Vietnam and he did the job. And so I'm hopeful as we look at the Vietnam experiences, we'll look at the people who did some very, very brave things 